Hi guys, Cher here with you. Um, so today I'm gonna to share a quick little recipe that Megan and I have been really enjoying. Um, it's a quinoa salad. Uh, and I promised you guys that if I found a recipe that I really liked, I would share it with you. So I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. It's such a quick and easy recipe to throw together. Um, yeah, and like I said, we I make this at least once a week. And it usually lasts a couple days. It's a great thing to have leftover for lunch. Um, Megan takes this in her lunch sometimes to school. She just absolutely loves it. It's great hot and it's also great cold quinoa. Um, we've really, really been enjoying it. So I've been just purchasing it at Dollarama. Um, you get this bag for $1.50. This has got one enough for make this whole pot of quinoa. So there's one cup of quinoa in here and all you do is add two cups of water. And so what I do is I like to put one of these little um, chicken bouillon cubes in there while I'm cooking it just to give it a little more flavor. You could also use all like chicken broth if you wanted. Um, so yeah, so you mix that all together, you bring it to a boil and then you turn it down, put the lid on and set the timer for 15 minutes. And after the 15 minutes, you just take a fork and you fluff it all up with the fork and that's all there is to it. It's so, e it's even easier to cook than rice, I think. And it's really good for you. So that's all there is to do as far as cooking the quinoa goes. I've just, uh, I cooked this this morning and it's nice and cool now. It's been sitting in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I put the salad together. So in today's salad, I plan on using some black beans. Now I've also used, in the past I've used um, black olives all sliced up. That's really good as well. You could basically put any kind of vegetable you want in there. I'm going to use some tomatoes today. I'm also going to be using some celery. Um, I'm going to put some cilantro in there. And I'm also going to use, I've used any, basically any color of pepper is really good. But so today all I have is, happen to have is some yellow pepper. I'm going to cut some of that up and throw that in there as well. And then at the very end, I'm gonna show you the dressing, which is the easiest part of the whole thing. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So I've got my whole yellow pepper all cut up and put in the bowl. Next, I'm going to just cut up this little Roma tomato. You could use cherry tomatoes. You could use whatever kind of tomatoes you have on hand. This just happens to be what I have. So I'm just going to use these. And I don't mind that I'm like, sometimes I'll actually take all the, you know, the slimy part of the tomato. I'll take all that out because sometimes it makes whatever you're making, it makes it soggy. Um, in this recipe, I don't care because it just kind of adds to, you know, making more flavor in it, I think. And it just kind of gives it a little bit of um, juice and moisture. So I don't, I'm not too fancy or fussy when I'm cutting this stuff up, as you can see. Uh, just kind of, just coarsely chop it and get it in the bowl. Like I said, this recipe comes together so quick and so easy. And it's so versatile. You can just put whatever happens, you know, whatever you have on hand or, you know, whatever flavors you like. And yeah, it's so quick and easy. I like putting um, celery in there because it just gives it a bit of a crunch. my celery. Next I'm going to cut up some cilantro. Now again not everybody likes cilantro. Um, if you like green onion that also tastes really good in there. I find cilantro one of those herbs that either you love or you hate. So I just love the flavor that it gives. So I'll just take a nice big bunch like this and just kind of squish it all together and coarsely chop this up. Oh, I love the smell of cilantro. Oh, it smells so good. And then just put this in here as well. And that's basically all there is to it. All I need to do now is just open up my can of uh, black beans. So I'm gonna open those up. I'm gonna rinse them under some cold water and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I put this, the rest of this together. So I'm ready to put my dressing on now. Um, I looked all over Pinterest trying to find a recipe that would be easy and quick that I would like. Um, and I saw, I saw some good ones. I thought that they would be just fine. But you know, I don't know about you, but I don't have time to be mucking around with, you know, juicing limes and zesting and all that kind of stuff. I wanted something that was like, this comes together so fast. I wanted a dressing that was just as fast as well. So this is what I came up with. 
I found this the other day when I was wandering around my grocery store. It's from Kraft and it's an Italian zesty lime. So lime, as you know, goes really, really well with cilantro and it tastes amazing with the quinoa. So this is what I've come up with. We all love it. As you can see, it's almost all gone. You don't need a whole ton of this either. And there's only 30 calories for every one tablespoon, uh, 2.5 grams of fat, and there's zero fiber, only one gram of sugar. And yeah, it's actually really, really tasty and I really like it. And you don't, like I say, you don't need a ton, so I just give it a little shake. And it couldn't be any easier than this. You just put as much or as little as this you want on there. Give it a good stir. And I like to use, you know, make this ahead of time so that it's gonna sit in the fridge for, you know, at least an hour or so. It just gets the flavors, especially with the cilantro and everything. It gets the flavors kind of through all the uh, quinoa here a little bit better. And this will last a couple of days in the fridge. Um, it's so, so yummy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little recipe. Give it a whirl and let me know how, what you think of it. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you what you think of this craft uh, dressing. Craft comes up with some great, they have some great dressings. Just makes life so much easier when you're busy and you don't have very much time to spare for whipping up a quick dinner or a quick salad to go along with dinner. And this really couldn't be any easier. So there you have it. There is my quick, yummy quinoa salad. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a whirl and uh, let me know what you think. All right, bye for now, everyone. So as I was cleaning up, I realized that I forgot to put some of my black beans in there. So all I've done is I've just used a strainer and I just uh, rinsed my beans after I opened them up. I'm just gonna add a few of these. I'm not gonna put the whole can in because that'd be a lot of beans. Probably about, maybe about a half a can. So I'm just gonna mix these in here. Oh, this smells so amazing. And yeah, can't wait to eat this with our dinner tonight. So there you have it. There is my quick, easy, simple quinoa salad. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now.